This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Tuesday. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network. Stocks finished higher after investors found some relief in the European Central Bank's $500 billion loan issuance and profit gains at Goldman Sachs and Best Buy. But the possibility of recession in 2008 kept the market just a little bit nervous today. Dow was up about 60 points. The Nasdaq up uh, about 20 and the S&P up almost 10 points. New construction of single-family homes fell 5.4%, the lowest since April 91. Total starts, including the 0.6% rise for multifamily units, fell 3.7% to an annual rate of 1.19 million. Meanwhile, authorized building permits fell 1.5% in November to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1.15 million, the lowest in 14 years. Permits have fallen six months in a row. Chain store sales for the weekend of December 15th rose 2.1% from the uh, year ago period. On a week over week basis, sales increased 1.4%. The uh, International Council of Shopping Centers said that consumers are completing their holiday shopping slower than they have in the last couple of years. The Fed plan being unveiled would give people taking out home mortgages new protections against shady lending practices. The rules to be proposed are especially geared to providing some future safeguards to the riskiest subprime borrowers already painfully stung by the housing and the credit debacles. European Central Bank allotted $501 billion, 348 billion euros, to banks after offering unlimited funds taking the coordinated action announced by five central banks last week, a step further in a bid to alleviate the global credit crunch. 2007 likely to be the first calendar year in which the U.S. households spend more on cell phone services. Recent government data shows that while there are about 170 million landlines in use nationwide, industry officials estimate that there are now close to 250 million cell phones. In Forex News, the dollar rose versus the yen in Asia as Japanese investors bought the U.S. currency to invest in overseas assets or settle their trade accounts. A Morgan Stanley analyst in Tokyo said trading lacked a sense of direction, with some investors already out for the Christmas holidays. Traders also said that the dollar's recovery is limited, as investor confidence in the currency has yet to recover due to persistent concerns about the state of the U.S. economy and the credit markets. The dollar began its Asian trading lower but bounced to higher as Japanese mutual funds sold yen for dollars to invest in overseas assets while Japanese importers bought the U.S. unit to settle trade accounts. Meantime, the Canadian dollar fell for the first time in three days after a report showed that the core inflation rate unexpectedly slowed last month. Investors sold the currency as uh, evidence that inflation is contained may allow the Bank of Canada to reduce interest rates again next year to spur the economy following a cut this month. EU economists urged China to allow its currency to appreciate, saying the move would help the U.S. dollar rise from record lows against the euro. European Union trade statistics showed separately that Europe's trade gap with China grew 25 percent in the first nine months of 2007 from the same period last year. There are no economic reports scheduled for Wednesday. In earnings news today, Goldman Sachs easily beat Wall Street expectations for the fourth quarter. Profit rose to $3.17 billion, or $7.01 a share. Best Buy said profit for the quarter rose to $228 million, or $0.53 cents a share. Analysts were looking for $0.41. Cents. Adobe Systems reporting income was $222 million, or $0.38 cents a share. And CSK Auto Corp reporting a third quarter net loss of $5.8 million, or $0.13 cents a share. Earnings out on Wednesday include 3Com, Actuant, CarMax, General Mills, Morgan Stanley, Nike, Oracle, as well as Steelcase. Stocks in the news today, iRobot receiving $286 million five-year contract to uh, supply military robots to the Army. Blythe plans a new 6 million share buyback beginning when it completes the current 12 million uh, share buyback. And Nestle shares were cut to neutral from buy at UBS. And that's the market wrap. I'm Jack Lott, and this is the James Dix Financial Network.